Families separated through Child Protective Services voiced their anger on the steps of the state capitol today. They say the system has a history of racial discrimination. Now they're calling for reform on the state and national levels. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner spoke with desperate families today. Every person that I spoke to today had a heartbreaking story of how they've lost their child or children to the system. So they came ready with a list of solutions they're hoping get accomplished. Tammy Weinbrenner is fighting to keep her three young granddaughters out of foster care. My grandbabies were taken about two and a half, three years ago um, with no proof of the allegations or whatever. Stephanie Jeffcoat lost her toddler to adopters while she was in prison for six months. I was never notified of any court dates. I was never taken to court. I wasn't served any papers. I went in and got out of jail six months later to find out that my daughter was adopted. 17 year old Isis Hernandez is currently in foster care when she said she has extended family willing to take her in. My aunt, she lives around here. And they won't let you stay with your aunt? Family? No, because it's not in Kern County. One family after another took to the steps to share their personal experiences. We're talking about, let's be clear, dismantling a racist and dehumanizing system. Vanya Quarles is the director of Starting Over Incorporated. To bring attention to the fact that CPS is unchecked and wreaking havoc in predominantly black, brown, and poor families, and we want it to stop. So what solutions is she bringing to the table? So we are asking that family reunification be given individualized assessments and that that CPS respects the relationships of family, whether they're blood relationships or not. Child Protective Services declined comment other than to say each case is handled on a county by county basis.